Hey there, I'm Zach. We've got a really cool solution to talk about here called Simply Bale. It's going to allow you to optimize your small square baler production and I want to talk through what makes it cool and unique. Now to help me do that, I've got Luke Weller who's grown up on a family farm. He's also an Agco lead engineer. So Luke, tell us a little bit about your background and what you do for Agco. Oh, thanks Zach. I've been putting hay up my entire life on our farm. Round bales, small square bales, and this baler is really, really important to me. So Luke, why don't you tell me one of the biggest challenges that you had on the, maybe the family farm around small square production? Great question, Zach. Labor. Labor is always going to be a struggle and it's only going to get worse. Man. Trying to put somebody fresh in the seat the first time and make them, you know, make them bail as good as an operator has for 20 years. I, Man, it is hard with these things. The monitor that this used to have, it's, it's 20 years old. It gives you two things that you can do on it. Simply Bell has a lot more than just two things. Nice. Now I'd say I visited many farms in my echo career, and what you said right there is probably echoed by many producers across this country. So let's talk about operating efficiency and what we can do to really optimize your small square baler. Zach, are you familiar with what we provide on big balers or round balers? I definitely am. So. My experience on big balers typically is watching the monitor and the tractor and the information that's going to be given me around flake counts and I use that to dial in kind of my ground speed to optimize production. Uh, you hit the nail on the head, man. You know, one thing that we have not had on these small square balers for a long time or ever has been even just the amount of information to get bale length, you know, an accurate flake count. Now, I'm not talking about stroke counters, I'm talking about a true flake count. So when you go over that headland and that stroke counter keeps counting, that's not really representative of what that bale is. You know, Simply Bale, it gives you a true flake count and there's a lot of proprietary work that's been done by my team to really make sure that that number is accurate. Nice. So basically you're telling me in the cab, I'm gonna have visibility to all the same information that I find in my big baler? Most nearly. Obviously there's mechanical things that are not common between a little baler and a big baler, but flake count, bale length, flake size, density pressure, all those things are gonna be available in the cab now. Luke, so what I'm hearing in this conversation is maybe I've got newer operators. This is really gonna allow me to get them in the seat and get them functional really quickly. So what about this is gonna make that happen? Yeah, so I told you about some of those big baler features like some of you guys might be familiar with in your big baler is that plunger to stuff ratio. That tells you how fast to go. Well, we really wanted to imitate that in a little baler, even though we've always got a one-to-one -one ratio, we wanted to really give something to help coach people on their ground speed. So in our monitor, you set your flake, your length, and it's gonna tell you everything else. So it's gonna tell you if you need to speed up or slow down before you make that whole entire first bale. So it's all about making sure that they can make the adjustment quicker and faster. Yeah, that's awesome. So from an ease of use perspective, sounds like this is a great solution. So Luke, is there anything else from an operating efficiency standpoint? So it sounds like the flake counter and really dialing in maybe that target flake count is much easier with what we have in the screen. Is there anything else that we have available to the operator that's gonna help them out there? Absolutely, and I would say density is the most important thing. Density controls bail weight and our consumers, our producers, everybody sells by bail weight in this industry, okay? So if I want a 100 pound bale, I want to make sure that my baler is putting out the most efficient bale for that weight. Because if not, I either have over or under. I'm going to lose money. So what we wanted to do was make sure that the bale weight was more consistent and uniform every time. All right, Luke, that sounds really good. So from what I'm hearing, that flake counter is really going to allow me to optimize how this baler runs. It's going to allow my new operator to tune in his ability to run this machine. So I can give him a target of maybe running 15 or 18 flakes, and he can watch that number and adjust his ground speed as needed to, to do that. The other really cool thing, if you think about that flake count, is bale consistency, and what that does to the bale that you're putting out the back of the machine. So a consistent flake count is gonna allow me to make sure that the bales that are coming out of that back machine are very uniform length. So maybe I target a 36 inch bale, if I'm consistently putting out whatever my target flake count is, 15 or 18, each time through that consistent ground speed, I'm going to get that consistent bale length. Consistent bale length, if you put your mind in that of a producer, what does that mean to you? Bale length is money. It, everything is about consistency. 
You know, when it comes to either selling the bale or picking up the bale out of the field, I want that to be as repeatable every time. Because I don't know about you, Zach, but are there a lot of people picking up bales by hand anymore? No. No. Where I grew up, it's all mechanized. And for those, whether it's a bundler or a self-propelled stacker, for those to work, the more consistent the bale, the better they work. So Luke, what I'm hearing, Simply Bale is gonna allow me to get an aftermarket solution and update my 1800 series small square baler to features similar to my big baler. That's gonna allow my operators to really dial in their efficiencies given the information that's available to them in the terminal through the monitor. Sounds to me like we're gonna be able to go to the field and simply bale.